What's up guys, Sloppy here. I just want to do a quick video. Um, there are some issues sometimes with people who have multiple displays go to record with shadow play and it ends up recording the other monitor and then you have issues trying to figure it out. I have a couple of quick workarounds I want to help you with because I, I dealt with it myself and want to get into it quickly. So a couple things I want you to do. First thing to do is really good is just right click on your desktop and you see display settings, open that. And when you come in here, you're going to see I have two monitors going on. Here's my LG, and here is my 1080p monitor that I'm doing the video on. As you see here, show only two, and that's what you're going to pick. So you're going to pick the monitor that you want it to record on, and you're going to make sure it's the primary monitor. Okay, so like I'm going to click on two. As you see, make this my primary when you click the box, you could show only one, extend these displays, which you're going to use in regular state when you got both monitors on. But when you want to record one monitor, just make sure that the monitor you've picked, and here I identify it, there it pops it up right there, to show it is the only one going. And with that, you're going to apply it, and that should record that monitor. Now, it may not. It may fight you, or Shadowplay goes to record, and you get that famous slash on it. You may have to restart, but before you do that, what I want you to do second off is go into the NVIDIA control panel. And when you open it up, as you see, my LG is unselected. So in here, I only have the Dell, which is the monitor I'm displaying right now. My other one is off. So when you click here, and if I click apply, see how it pops up? We don't want that. We just want the monitor that we want to record. Hit apply. Okay, so now when you do that, you should be good to go. There's other things that you could do. If This should definitely work. It worked for me. I did my problem solving. I've worked on it a lot. Now, you may have to restart the computer. That's the only thing because NVIDIA uh, recording may not work properly. Like the little box you get might have a slash through it. So if you restart, you should be good to go. Now, if this don't work, the third option, which is a pain in the neck, but 100% works, is just dis disconnect the display port cable to your other monitor that you don't want to record or remove the HDMI cord. That's the last extreme method. This works though. I promise you this will work. These two methods will work. You don't have to go into anything crazier. And um, that should be it. It should record it and you should be good to go. And when you're back, when you want to get back on to your monitor experience, you're going to just go back into the control panel. And you're going to just click the box and hit apply, which it'll pop up. And then both monitors come on again. And again, go back into display settings. And once you have both on and you're going to go to, like I'm going to click two. And what you're going to do is once the other one's on, when you activate it on the NVIDIA control panel, you're going to put extend these displays and you'll get your regular type of thing where you got your two monitors and the cursor will go from one to the other. So that's a, a little quick video. I guarantee it's going to work for you. Uh, leave some comments, give me a like, subscribe, and I just wanted to help you guys out.